the white field of masters session number 17. So before this, I mean, so I am Srijit. I am playing or serving the role of Sajana Tams for this today's session. So before we start, I have three ground rules to set. So please keep your phone. The first one is please keep your phone in silent mode or switched off. The second one is as Tosmasters we won't speak taboo topics like sex, religion and politics. So please refrain from discussing that. And the third one, please do not cross talk or interrupt the speaker. So please encourage them by your warm, with your warm smile and energetic applause. As everyone has a mission to achieve their their goals, Cosmosers also have a mission to achieve. The mission of our Cosmosers Club is to provide a productive and supportive learning experience for the members by which they can develop communication and leadership skills to achieve better growth, personal growth and self-confidence. With that, I will hand over to, with that I welcome and hand over to our President of the Club and Presiding Officer, Masai Hussain. So when they told me 
that you found a gem in your area because he can definitely be there. I said, please provide me with his number if I can. They gave me. Since then, all the conversations that I have had with him, they've been remarkably, remarkably positive. Uh, never heard no for anything. Yet. Charter member of Whitefield Postmaster. I would like to welcome to the stage Toastmaster of the day in today's meeting, Toastmaster Gopinath. Over to you. Thank you so much, uh, DTM Mazahir, for this wonderful introduction. And good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. What a wonderful day today, being the festival of Easter. If anyone is celebrating Easter, I would warmly welcome them also and my heartfelt uh, greetings of Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you. Today I am the Toastmaster of the day and our goal today is to conduct a meeting from start to the end. For that, uh, this meeting has got three different sections. That is, the first one is the prepared speech, wherein the speaker comes on stage preparing a speech and he will deliver from the project based on the guidelines and later he will be evaluated on the good and not so good parts of the speech. That is a prepared speech session. The second one will be a table topic session, where it will be an impromptu speech session for one to two minutes. Anyone can be taught on any topic. It's a very interesting session. The third one is the general evaluation session, wherein the general evaluator will conduct the whole session and uh, give feedback on all the role takers, all, all the speeches, and overall on the meeting. So that will be the agenda of the whole day. And I, not being the person who gave the theme today, I suddenly struck me, maybe it is Easter today, the word resurrection. Because Jesus was crucified on Friday, uh, Good Friday, and third day he resurrected from his, wherever he was. And the rest is history, and we all celebrate <coughs> Easter. So I was thinking about this particular word, resurrection, because it didn't strike me as, a, as something about Christianity or anything. We just generally resurrect because recently I I retired from my career, not from work per se. I retired and suddenly I felt as if uh, I am resurrecting from all the things which I have forgotten, all the things I wanted to do. So many things I have just brushed aside, so called no time or no focus. I wanted to improve some create some writing skills or do some other activities. So many things I had planned. Suddenly I felt I am resurrected that I can actually do all those things. And I was just going through the dictionary of this word. Everything, the synonym starts with re, 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 juvenile, re, energize, re, everything is re, revive. So I think it's all about reviving. Maybe there is a Toastmaster or a public speaker in you who is just sleeping. Just resurrect that speaker onto the stage. That's all Toastmasters is all about. So with that note, I would like to call upon a very interesting person today, our general evaluator. And she is a person who loves uh, traveling, loves cooking, and I have heard her speech as she said, anything but Toastmaster, terrific speaker. I would really love to listen to all the evaluations. Please let me welcome Toastmaster Sendhuti. Masters and 
Uh, as a time now, I'll be timing each of the prepared speeches, uh, the table topics speech speeches, as well as the individual evaluation. Uh, I'll also alert each of the speakers uh, of the time they have left to the help of the cards that I have. So, for the prepared speeches, the time limit is 5 to 7 minutes. At 5 minutes, I'll be raising the green card. At uh, 6 minutes, I'll be raising the yellow card. And at 7 minutes, I'll be raising the uh, red card. For the table topics, uh, the time limit is 1 to 2 minutes. I'll be raising the green card at 1 minute. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, I'll be raising the yellow card. And at 2 minutes, I'll be raising the red card. For the individual evaluations, uh, we have the time limit as 2 to 3 minutes. For the at 2 minutes, I'll be raising the green card. At uh, 2 and a half minutes, I'll be raising the yellow card. And at the end, at the 3 minutes, I'll be raising the red card. Thank you.
on. We can't always do something, but we can do something. It's true, right? Especially with a lot of things going on in our own lives, how could we possibly think about what others are handling with? What we can do? I have a Labrador puppy named Simba. He is 2.5 years old now. After many, many months of convincing my parents, I bought him home when he was 3 months old. Tiny little fingers, cute little eyelashes and tiny little tail. Sorry, I don't have tail. He was so beautiful. And my parents, despite a dog, having a dog is new at home, my parents slowly adapted the changes. And they started loving him as well. However, as days passed by, he grew bigger and bigger. And it was becoming increasingly difficult for my working parents to look after him. He wasn't afraid at home anymore. So I decided to bring him to back home with me to look after him all by myself. Failed miserably in the mission because my house on earth asked me and my dog to leave the apartment as soon as possible due to the so-called apartment rules. She said, what can I do? With nowhere else to go, I had to head back home. I was confused, fearful and afraid of letting my dog go. One day, my father, when he was starting to office, spotted a cat that had fallen into the sewage and barely survived. He informed me about the cat and started to office telling me that the cat might pass away any time now. I heard it. I heard him saying that and instantly I thought, what can I do? I don't know. That day, something struck me. I decided to go check out the cat. So I opened the door, went out, and saw the cat sitting on a slab, fully drenched in sewage. The crows gathered around, thinking that they might get a delicious meal out of the dead cat. But guess what? The cat still didn't die. It was trying and trying constantly to somehow make it. That determination to somehow come back to senses changed the whole perspective with which I was witnessing the scene. For the first time, I thought, is there anything I could do? I did all the first aid possible that I could possibly think of. And when I ran out of ideas, I decided to take the cat to the hospital. I hear a voice inside my brain. Are you insane? Do you really want to take this up right now with all that is going on with Simba at home? Once again, I look at the cat, trying and trying consistently. I got my answer. I booked an auto and took the cat to the hospital. I was carrying the cat inside a jute bag wrapped around in a piece of cloth. At the holding edge of the jute bag, I was able to feel the movements of the cat. And that's how I kept reassuring myself that the cat is still with me. And as I move closer to the hospital, I feel that the movements are slowing down. I finally reached the hospital and I got the cat thoroughly checked by the, thoroughly examined by the doctor. The cat was no more. The result was of course not what I wanted it to be. Maybe if I had started early, I would have been able to save the cat. Maybe if I had chosen to go in my scooty than the auto, I would have been able to save the cat. Despite of so many maybes, that day I was so surprised that I, I felt no guilt at all. I felt no guilt because I understood that day that the result was not in my hands and all that I could possibly do is to do whatever little I can. Small acts of kindness matters. So friends,
Let's all stop blaming our situation and ask, is there anything I could do and say, what can I do? Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Prisha, for that wonderful speech. And I think the speech title like is, what can I do? <laughs> Probably. Perhaps. Really, that is the takeaway of your speech for me. What can I do? We always say the what can I do, what can I do, and helpless kind of thing. But this is like, what can I do right now? How can I change? Or what can I change? What, what can I contribute? So, what can I do right now is my message from a wonderful speech. I always uh, kind of admire these people who have strong affection for this. <laughs> animals. So I always believe that animals have their own life and their own habitat. We should leave them free in their own world. Don't disturb them. This is my personal view. But I have seen people, I had another Toastmaster in another club. So nice, whenever she sees some cat or dog, she run behind them. I am so afraid to walk with her because anytime she will pick up. And I always thought that maybe the, I would probably want to live in her house because she emanates so much love to all the human beings in her house, I hope so. Because she is having so much to give to the you know, animals also. So that's why I really admire these people. Thank you so much for a wonderful speech, beautifully delivered and we will go ahead with the rest of the proceedings. So to talk about the, the next uh, speech, before I call upon the next speaker on stage, I would like to call the evaluator of the speech. And this evaluator is a seasoned Toastmaster. I always look up on to learn so many things and a wonderful Toastmaster, Toastmaster. Mm -hmm. Thank you Toastmaster Gopinath and a very good morning particularly to for the speaker. The speaker, second speaker today will be delivering Project 3 from level 1. And uh, the objective is the speaker has already received a feedback on a speech and this project is to see if he has implemented all of the feedback from the previous speech and I'll be evaluating him on his current uh, project. All the best to the speaker. Back to you, Christmas.
my mother instructed me from outside to get ready asap because i was already running late for the school and as i went into the bathroom and i locked the door from inside guess what happened actually as i went into the bathroom and i locked the door from inside my eyes got stuck onto the tap which was installed in the corner of the roof of the bathroom not a regular tap that is the unused tap for god knows how much time now so i don't know what happened to me that that time a sensation of immense fear ran across all my body i perpetually imagined that any time now a strong flow of water will come out of that tap and fill the bathroom within no time and as the door is locked from inside i'll be drowned just imagine a first grade kid feeling this fear that was weird right so this might continue for 3 4 3 to 4 minutes and the high tide of my trauma was broken by the shrilling voice of my mother having to take in bath yet <laughs> so i recollected myself opened the door and i went outside i told my mother in a very casual tone i am feeling a little cold today i will not take bath <laughs> <laughs> and i went into the bathroom bedroom and my mother was pretty busy with the daily stuff so she ignored and i got ready and collected the tiffin and i left for the school and while on the way in the bus i asked myself this question what happened to me today what was the feeling of fear in the body i contemplated but i was unable to answer myself and from then onwards this feeling continued and as you know human brains are wired to go for defense mechanism in things like these when you are in danger so i started to look for workarounds and for the summer i got the perfect workaround as a first grade kid i started to look for workaround as i said and if some of you can recall there used to be a concept of hand pumps in the old independent houses maybe in the front section open section of the house or maybe in the back section for me it was in the front section so i decided that i take bath there only and summer passed very easily for me because as a first grade kid no one asked that what i am doing and summer was pretty hot so it was justified my decision was pretty justified <laughs> and time and time waits for none summer passed very easily winter came and this thing reverted with even more intensity i again started to look for work around and this time it was pretty weird again i request you guys not to judge me on this but as a first grade kid my mind literally commanded me that while in the bathroom instead of closing the door completely from inside if i slightly open the door that if at all water will come out from that tap the water will go out from here and i'll be safe i was not concerned that water will go out and eventually it will spill into our bedroom where i where i where i have to sleep in the night none of my concern <laughs> so i tried to deal with this by issue in some or the other manner and i refrained myself but by telling this by not telling this to my family members and days converted into months months into years and summers after winters this thing continued until one fine day i decided to tell my mother she listened me carefully and after that she told me two things very seriously that you should you should have told this thing to me in the first place for your father and you are not the only one who, who is experiencing hydrophobia and her words literally helped me to mitigate with my personal crisis from then onwards i tried to deal with my issue and now it has reduced considerably because her words literally helped me because i used to think that i am the only one who is feeling this thing but i was not the only one there are many people out there who who feel this thing the fear of water and i wanted to work even more on my phobia of this and therefore last year i decided to join swimming it was a hard decision but i went for it initially i found myself in a quite calm position because there were other people as well and under the same pressure 
so I was not sure that whether I worked on my hydrophobia or not. So one day I decided to went for swimming in the winter session when no one is there. The swimming pool was empty and I forced myself to get up and I went towards the deep, deep end of the swimming pool and I dived. I took the minimum point and I dived. And as I already knew swimming by that time, my subconscious, subconscious mind started working and I was making the right movements. I was swimming. And I slowly opened my eyes which got closed because of the fear when I dived in, in the first place. I literally enjoyed the immense peace under water and that was a feeling of great relief. From that time, time onwards, I have a strong penchant for swimming and it is always onto my go-to list. At the end, I just wanted to tell you guys that this can happen to anyone and you have to work on it because victory is beyond fear. Thank you.
so okay so uh, the table topic sessions i will be uh, seeking volunteers from you and you will be uh, you will be brought upon the stage and i will be handing over some topics to you where you will be speaking upon the topic for a duration of about 2 minutes and uh, for, for uh, you have to speak at least for a minute so as not to get disqualified for one after one minute the timer will show you green card after 130 minutes the timer will show you yellow card after 2 minutes they will show you a red card and you will be given a grace period of 30 seconds before you again you get disqualified on the side on the other side so we all have different kind of uh, thoughts and different kinds of uh, uh, perceptions about different subject like uh, we had very great uh, prepared speech sessions two great prepared speech session before this so now we will be having this uh, spontaneous speaking session so i was wondering about what is the importance of it so if we go on to if we think about the importance of this session you will realize that uh, that is very much related to the theme of uh, today's uh, which is uh, resurrection so uh, if anybody is asked what is uh, like what you develop by uh, table topic session they will say that you develop a like you do of this spontaneous speaking but i would say uh, it is more that you can also develop uh, you can have a learning of uh, sticking to a decision so when you are given a topic you are you have a lot of like decisions coming on to you like you have different paths to go on uh, go around the topic but you have to choose a path maybe after some time you realize that uh, you chose the wrong path or you chose an inferior path you had a very uh, like you, you could have uh, given a very wonderful description going on to a different path but you have chosen this path and you have to stick to the this path throughout your speech so and that is how you make your wrong decisions right by sticking to it by speaking and giving your all inputs in this brief session so adding to that a uh, little trick that you can add today when i give you a topic you can mention a movie or book something that relates to the topic uh, so as we also have uh, we also get to have a long list on sunday to watch so any volunteer for the first topic
you should stick to it and take a daily small step for achieving it and you will feel that whatever around happens you that that falls into the place to make that decision happen being it weight loss being it learning a new thing being get a new job or changing your job anything you want first just you decide and start speaking like for public speaking if you want to speak in front of public you will get to come to know about the toastmasters club you will attend those meeting you will get a lot of people who will support you help you improving in your public speaking so i will say just decide on what you want and everything will fall into the place thank you so the butterfly effect suggests that everything happens and whatever we do affects everything else so the forces of the natural order that uh, is there outside it should assist us in the fulfillment of the task that we are uh, trying trying to achieve okay so for the next topic any volunteer <coughs>
so values uh, values is something like uh, which my like every one of our parents try to give us good values from my childhood all right but as you can see i have got all of them okay like values include everything like good habits uh, like uh, way of speaking uh, like your daily habits and other like how you speak to your elders and how you treat your friends and everyone so as of now nowadays my habits are not as per the values which my parents thought i would be like i am completely off my yeah habits <laughs> okay so i am completely off my schedule i am eating irregular food unhealthy food okay i am not exercising okay uh, my sleep schedule is completely messed up okay so values are not as of now in my daily schedule at any point of time okay so i am trying to uh, <coughs> try okay and try to gain good values and also get on to like good habits by which i can self improve and probably reduce this thank you <laughs> Sartak, may you uh, go on uh, implementing the values so that you get that uh, mental clarity. So that becomes the backbone of getting from this thing. <coughs> Anyone from yes for the next topic? All members. <coughs> So the topic is a setback is set up for a comeback. <coughs> so the the recent example which I have it is from my uh, daughter. Um, when when she started uh, crawling, uh, after five days she started also walking as well, and and. 
on the first day she uh, she, she basically was not able to get up on, on the feet and on the, on the second day again she tried and tried and tried and every time she was falling she was giggling and laughing and enjoying it and at that time it was uh, it was felt like yeah, she is actually trying it again and again why because she is enjoying it and and within within two weeks she was able to walk properly unlike my elder sister elder daughter who learned walking after two months because she didn't enjoy it uh, while while falling while getting up and those things and it's the same thing which happens there uh, same with me as well. as well when i started learning swimming i tried two times i learned both courses for two times and every time i went there i was fearing no i can't swim i it's too tough they have some backup there that's why they have to do i was making all kind of excuses and when i got married my wife forced me to go into the swimming pool on that time i learned within 5 days <laughs> <laughs> so it was just different circumstances there thank you so basically the the in summary that's the summary of this every time you fall start getting up enjoy the moment what will happen you will again fall down that's it and and life will hurt. otherwise just see just come to my house see my daughter the, the younger one and you will enjoy the <laughs> Thank you. This is similar to setting the past point as a point of reference and not as a point of uh, residence. <laughs> <laughs> so for the this is going to be the last topic. Uh, so any volunteer? So good afternoon, one and all present here. So myself, Madhav. My topic is uh, perfection is a journey or destination. destination. Okay, it's a very nice topic uh, for today's uh, uh, event. Uh, perfection is a journey. So according to my view, so I hope I can express my view. Uh, that uh, from this topic, I can say perfection is a journey. See, uh, my own example, I wanted to quote it. See, I thought of uh, taking the postmaster's membership from the fight uh, from the past two years. During lockdown, I used to attend the club in the online mode. During uh, uh, COVID time, I used to attend, and then I, during my office time, I used to go to the uh, office club, but it will not uh, make it successful. So due to this pandemic, I got an opportunity uh, to attend in the online mode. So uh, with this, like you know, if I wanted to make it as a uh, perfection, as a uh, Um, uh, kind of you know destiny i can't do that but i uh, try to make it as a journey so through that journey and uh, uh, due to my uh, penchant in uh, speaking right so this worked out so i think perfection uh, is a journey according to uh, myself it's a journey thank you so that brings us to the end of the session a uh, big round of applause to everyone
brought some kind of success in all these uh, seven eight people who have spoken. I really like the Sarthak spoke and he hardly has any tummy to do. And <laughs> after fifteen years trying to speak, I am really worried about my tummy. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of that. So I really worked on that. Obviously, we can convert that to some muscle. <laughs> Try that yeah, I so, like Thank you. So thank you so much for that uh, wonderful table topic session. And it, now it is time for the third uh, session of the meeting that is to bring back our general evaluator, our wonderful general evaluator, who is going to give us a lot of uh, insights uh, into what went well and what could be improved. For this, we would like to call upon our general evaluator, Rose Master Singh. Before I go into the general evaluation, I would first like to call the speech evaluators on stage. So our first speech evaluator is Toastmasters Mukul. Please give the evaluation for Toastmasters Trisha's speech. First of all, I would like to uh, congratulate and thank Tisa for completing successfully uh, level 1 project. Um, it's very nice or wonderful topic, I would say, what we can do. <laughs> so that means also what we cannot do as a, but see, uh, beautifully demonstrate um, with uh, uh, live example um, with the cat and, uh, and how, how she did it and all these things. Uh, it is very beautiful and uh, she can beautifully explain the what anybody can do right? uh, without uh, going into the final result. In terms of evolution, uh, uh, she, she is having a very good eye contact uh, all over the uh, all over time. Uh, she uh, interacted very well with, uh, with the public and uh, her voice modulation is very good. These things are uh, she beautifully managed on his speech. Uh, couple of, uh, I would say, uh, she can try to improve on her next uh, next uh, speaking thing or the next speech. One is the uh, uh, use of the flows. So I see uh, she is very limited to here and here, but uh, I think we have uh, this bigger floor. So. Can, can use next uh, uh, next speech to use the flow a little bit of better. Uh, second, uh, one of my small observation your a uh, little bit of hand gesture is good, but uh, when you are giving and when you are relating your uh, different uh, state, right? So let's use a little bit more hand gesture so that to be more meaningful and interaction with the uh, public, right? So yeah, uh, I think this is my feedback, and uh, I would, I wish all the best for our uh, next speech in Christmas. Thank you very much, and over to you. Next, we have our second evaluator, Toastmasters Nibi. I uh, would like to call her on speech to give her evaluation of Toastmasters Akshay's speech.
it will be more impactful and more gripping and it will also make sure that the audience you have the attention of the audience we hate it usually when someone makes a direct eye contact with us it just makes us feel like oh i should pay attention the speaker is actually looking at me so it's one of the tricks that you can use your story had an opening body and conclusion it was a personal story and it takes a lot for any one of us to come here and share a personal story so thank you for sharing the story of your phobia with all of us here in this room so we make sure that the next time the club plans a fun activity or an outing you make sure there are no water bodies which <laughs> enter spaces a lot you have a pension for storytelling weaving the story such that you have the audience gripped onto the story so make sure that these are your foundation that you are absolutely strong about and going forward you can build your skills of storytelling of story delivery on all of this in terms of areas to improve opening and the conclusion i felt was not as impactful as it could have been So those are the two things that you can work on. For example, when you start the opening, avoid saying the topic of my speech today. You have given away, and sometimes you might lose the audience. So make sure that, as an opening or as a conclusion, you have a call for action, or maybe a quote, maybe a poetry, or maybe some humorous statement that your mother has made. That all of us, I'm sure, hear the shrill sound of your mother. All of us are aware of. again in terms of the title don't give away the story or don't give away what you're here to speak about in fact the uh, suggestion from uh, us was to open our bathroom blues would have kept us intrigued okay what is he going to really come and speak about in terms of bathroom blues body language this is something that i wanted to really focus on you kept walking back and forth with us it's a distraction for the audience make sure whatever you include as a part of your body language adds to your speech adds value to your speech when <coughs> walking up and down this is called pacing it's a give away that okay, the speaker is nervous so that's something that i would love for you to work on to summarize you are an engaging storyteller in the making make sure that you challenge yourself as a speaker by using your body body language and voice modulation to make your story very impactful That's all for me today. Back to you. That was a very well-structured feedback, I would say. And uh, now for the tag team report, I will first call on stage uh, our timer, Toastmasters Mahmud Danis, to give the timer report. So our day, all the speeches uh, were on time. Except uh, the evaluation by Nidhi, uh, your total time was three minutes and forty seconds. And I think apart from that, uh, all the other times were all the other speeches were on time. So yeah, thank you. Next we have our R counter Toastmasters Namush. Please give us the R counter report. Hello. So starting off with the speeches, the speeches are pretty clean. Uh, except for a small nitpick, Akshay uses the uh, phrase is pretty weird and misleading a fair bit number of times. Uh, then going over to the table topics, so Atul used R four times and uh, there is quite a lot of repeated usages of so. Then Mukul uh, used R two times and then a fair uh, bit uh, repeated usages of right and this. Piyush uh, used so a fair bit number of times. Now Prasen used R once. Sarthak used R uh, twice, uh, so uh, and there were used, uh, repeated usages of phrases like like okay, okay, so and like that. Um, I used R three times. Arindam used R twice. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. Yeah. And finally, we have our Romanian Toastmasters person. Please uh, give us the Romanian report. So, hi everyone. Uh, since the main job is quite technical, and I don't consider myself an expert, but these things is a pinch of salt. So, yeah. So, word of the day was used total in five by the first Akshay, Tanush, Madan, and Nidhi. 
Um, for suggestions, uh, I think I heard some of uh, the sentences like crows gathered around, but the better word would be crows hovered around and thoroughly checked. I think it was already corrected, thoroughly exa examined. Um, I want to work more on the phobia of this than instead of I want to work more on my hydrophobia. And there were uh, really good quotes and words which were used. So quotes like small acts of kindness, uh, kindness matters. Victory is beyond fear. If you are in the tunnel, just look at the light. And words like admire, contemplate, and mitigate. Uh, you 
picked yourself up. It was commendable. Can we all have a big round of applause? I've sent it to all of you. If there's anybody who hasn't received it, please let me know. Vote for the best role player among the top three, table topic master, general evaluator, and toast master of the day. Best supporting role player or auxiliary is among the sergeant at arm, timer, arc counter, and comedian. You've heard all the table topic speakers. Please vote for the best of them. You heard both the speakers. Please vote for the best speaker. And you heard the best. I mean, you heard both the speech evaluator. Please the speak. Uh, please provide your vote to them. Meanwhile, uh, while you guys are voting, it'll be it'll be an honor and a privilege for us to introduce the guest right now. And uh, quickly talk about your name and where you live over here and what is that one thing that you absolutely enjoyed today. So I'm seeing Sartha was kind of done. So Sartha, you can quickly. Uh, let us know where do you stay, what's your name, and what is that one thing that you have to read out today's meeting? Yeah, hi, so this is my second session, I think. Yeah, so I stay in here only next to Victor School. Okay, and uh, the purpose of um, joining Toastmaster for me is basically like um, I am kind of introvert, okay, um, in my professional and uh, level. So I am trying to overcome that and also. If I can gain a little bit of public speaking skills, that would be much better. Thank you. Welcome. That wasn't too loud, but I'm going to go to Madan now. Madan, you can quickly introduce yourself. Your, I mean, I've revealed your name already. Where do you live and what is that one thing that you enjoy? Thank you so much. So, uh, I reside in uh, Whitefield, uh, Imadi Hali Road. Okay. Imadi Hali Road. So, it's a very nice to attend this meeting. I loved it. Welcome, Madam. So, I'm not going to go to Shubham. I'm not going to go to Shinjyoti because she has already told us, uh, you know, how it is and you just been here for some time. Guys, let me know when you have voted. I'll still give you about a minute or so. Meanwhile, I'll quickly do an announcement. And this is the moment that I actually... Uh, so, we're starting something new. This is where I would request uh, Toastmaster Akshay to please come on the stage. Guys, he's the toast master of the month for the month of March. And
we are uh, you know we have started recently uh, for a dose mass of the month so so far we have got dose mass of the month for jan for feb and he's our third dose mass of the month for the month of march how do you become a dose mass of the month i'm going to give you a gist yet we have a weekly education team dose mass of the month or dose mass of piyush who you can get in touch with but before that congratulations Uh, let us know if you receive the coupon. Uh, so yes, uh, you do happen to receive a reward from the club for this. Those parts of the month is basically uh, each thing, each and everything that you do for our club and for the club outside. You get points. Example: when you happen to come home and you deliver a speech, there are certain number of points given to you. When you simply come to the meeting, there's a point given to you. When you happen to go to a different meeting and take up a role, there's a point given to you. Points get accumulated, and towards the end of the month, we calculate. And based on that, we repeat the dose mass of the month. I just gave you a gist of those points, but if you want to understand the calculation better, dose mass of Rishabh or dose mass of Piyush can help. The one who's absent, not the others. <laughs> People will say, "Okay, Piyush, tell us about this." Second thing, you heard the club contest, right here. A lot of you actually went to area contest and witnessed and cheered for our, uh, you know, members over there. Two of us. One at the area level as well. Those months of Ashok, I listen, and your Shuli has uh, gone to division level. Attending a division level contest, it's very interesting. The best thing that our division director, who's right here, has done for us that our meeting are on Sunday. So she actually kept this meeting on a Saturday. Saturday, it's at uh, one o'clock. One. One o'clock. One o'clock in the afternoon. Most likely, the location will be revealed as well. But we would request each one of you, even if you are a guest, come forward and witness international speech contest at division level, table topic contest, division level, speech evaluation contest, division level. I'm sure you'll be thrilled. We will go there to make sure that you support me. Okay, I just support my shark, and uh, we'll make sure that we go as a club. This is another announcement that I have. Third one is. Yes. What is the date? Twenty first or twenty second of April is Saturday from one o'clock. Um, tentatively, the location is somewhere near Central Bangalore, somewhere near uh, Aliaska Road, Vasant Bhavan, basically. So it'll be close by. It's a good location that I've seen the price is. It's a good location, right? So we'll go there as a club on a Saturday, all of us, and this is in person, right? So if anybody says, "Oh, I can't make it," and all that, uh, do try to, and we'll push you as much as possible. The third and the very uh, important announcement I'll actually forward it to our guest also is the coordination. Now I spoke about club, I spoke about area, I'm speaking about division. Somebody who wins in the division goes to district, compete against 174 clubs. Somebody then wins the world champion of public speaking and move on to region level. And region sometimes can be country. If you win in the region, then you go further more, and then you go to the world championship of public speaking. Final stage. I'm sure you must have seen those speeches as well. If you want to know, there have been incident in past, or actually a good incident, that we have had speakers from our district who have reached the semi-finale or finals of public speaking as well. That has happened. If you want to witness, there's an event called coronation that's going to happen. The good thing is that the early birds are out already, and I'll be sending you a pre-registration link. Pre-registration link will give you little more discount above the early bird as well. How about that? Now don't quote me on discount, but you're going to get something more. But what I can assure you is that the ticket will never be this price ever again. If you ask me, did I have ever paid for a coronation? Yes, I did. How much? Five thousand five hundred. How much was the early bird? Somewhere around thirty-five hundred or that. So I ended up paying two k extra because I missed what I was supposed to do. For the benefit of all, I will right away send the link in the group. Please register yourself. Even if you are a guest, you are not a toast master. Register yourself. There is a column called "Where you hear about this?" Please mention Whitefield Toast Masters. I'll be sending you in some time. It's time for the result, and let's take a look at the result right now. Are you guys all excited? Yes. That didn't sound like excitement. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yes. Very excited. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly go there and check out the result. Just now, here. Okay. Just a second. 
again. Right, starting with the best role player for today's meeting. And this has been happening, I think. It's a, it's a tough fight, however, for today, and this is surprising as well. Toastmaster Atul, congratulations on being the best role player. <laughs> Let's have you see the fight channel. It's not moving away when I see there's no competition. Okay. The best supporting role player for today's meeting is Toastmaster Prasim. Congratulations. The best table topic speaker of today's meeting is Toastmaster Anupam. Congratulations. <laughs> the best speaker of today's meeting is Toastmaster Prashya. Congratulations. <laughs> the best evaluator of today's meeting is Toastmaster Anupam. Congratulations. adjourn the meeting number 17. It's certainly been a pleasure seeing each one of you and the amount of... Uh, I will, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so something been reminded. A lot of announcement, guys, okay, it happens. <laughs> it does happen. Um, I remember who was in last week's meeting, somebody said, my half of the body part want to go back. My legs want to be somewhere else. I think my mind is somewhere else. I said, what he described is feeling when he was there on the stage. He was explaining that his legs wanted to go back to the seat where he was. His, his upper part of the body wants to be somewhere else and mind is somewhere else. So, did I speak about coordination? Yes. The scene said no. <laughs> I'm going to go with Prasim on this. Coordination is a District 92 yearly event. When we come to Toastmaster about networking, over here you might see people from one or two more clubs. Let's say three clubs to the maximum. What if there is a possibility of you meeting 100, 150 plus club members? What if you were to experience the CEOs of Top Gun companies, the eloquent speakers, the World Championship of Public Speaking, our own district finalist, election, fun night, and what not possible. All of that at coronation. Coronation dates, by the way, are the early word that I was talking about. May 26, 27, 28. Saturday, Sunday, in a way, must. Friday is optional, fully events, okay? What if I tell you, for that event, as I mentioned, there's a fee, which will be provided to you. For that same event, we have a curtain raiser happening. A curtain raiser of coordination, attendance, and attending is actually free. How about that? Excited? Okay. We're going to give you a gist of how coordination is going to be. Excited? I'm going to tell you the location is just about 10 minutes from here. Excited? <laughs> I'm going to tell you that we will have a live professional stand-up comedian performing. Excited? Yes. I'm going to tell you there is an eloquent speaker who is a top shot in the industry coming and speaking as a keynote speaker. Excited? Yes. I'm going to tell you there is a band who is performing that day. Excited? Yes. I'm going to tell you there will be an activity which will help you save more bucks for coordination. Excited? What I will do, I'll send a link to each one of you, including guests, because non Toastmaster and Toastmaster all are welcome. Next week, April 15, Saturday, from 3 to 5, Schneider Electric Prestige Tech Park is where this event is happening. It's open to all and it's free. Curtain raiser for coronation. Having said that, do not get confused. Coronation is paid, curtain raiser is free. I'm expecting all of our members to come there. It's a meeting on a Saturday, just for two hours, you guys live nearby, wherever, and even far. Please do make it for that particular meeting. I will send the link to all of you right now. On that note, let me go ahead and officially attend the meeting number 17. Pleasure meeting you.